Hey, Skirminator. <laughs> Dave Skirmin. Uh, first Ontario Credit Union for Finance Friday. Okay, so Dave, here's what we're talking about today. Stock markets uh, continue to be very volatile. So a new survey showed that up to 25% of Canadians are considering cashing out investments tied mm -hmm. to the stock markets. Others are wondering what they should do with those investments that are down double digits due to stock market declines yeah. this year. Yeah. It's one of those things that it goes up, it goes down. So what say you? Yeah, the, uh, uh, again, that survey, I read that a couple of days ago. Um, a lot of that 25% are younger people um, that probably shouldn't have been in that investment in the first place. Um, so they're looking at rising interest rates, uh, increased loan payments. Uh, they need that money to live month to month. If that's the case, uh, they should not have been in uh, stock market-backed uh, investments to begin with. They should have been in uh, high-interest savings accounts or GICs or something like that. Um, so really, it's, it's, uh, it's the investment that you're in um, over the time of period that you're going to need the money. If you need the money over the short period of time, you shouldn't be in an investment tied to the stock market. Because okay. the stock market, you know, you've got to be in it for three, four, five years because uh, there are blips. Uh, and in fact, I've got a couple of gr graphs just to show you that. Uh, maybe we can throw the first graph up there. Okay. So this is a, a graph of the TSX over the last six months. And you can see uh, it hasn't been a good six months. Um, we had the, over in the far left, those were the highs. Those are the TSX set records, about 22,000 points. Um, and then you look at where we are today. And in fact, that, uh, I print that off on Wednesday. The stock market, as you showed just a little while ago, mm -hmm. dropped a little more yesterday. Yeah. So it's down a little more. Do you know that blip in, um, in July? Do you know what those are based on? Uh, well, this one is, it's, uh, the stock market right now is very volatile. Right. Uh, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of emotion going on. Uh, when uh, when uh, interest rates start going up, uh, people freak out, um, and the markets respond to that. But what the, the point on this is that if you're, look at, if you're basing your stock market investments over the last six months, uh, you don't want to be in it. Okay. But now let's look at the next one. Uh, the next one's a 10-year look. And so now, you're going to see six months built in there on the far right. But if you look where the stock market started 10 years ago, it's about 12,000 points. Where is it now? Even though it's dropped a lot over the last six months, it's, it's almost 19,000 points. That's like a 60% gain over the 10-year period. But there's blips in there. If you look at 2016, um, that was based on fear. That was the start of the year. I remember doing an interview on, on CHGH. People were freaking out, selling their stock market investments. Based on uh, oil went down a little bit, and of course Canada's a resource-rich country. Oil went down a little bit. The government were talking about increasing interest rates uh, that they had lowered during the financial crisis of 2008. Mm -hmm. People freaked out and, and uh, sold their investments. But look what they missed out on. The next four years, from 2016 to 2020, that's about a 45, 50% right. increase. So and they missed out on that. that. That down was the pandemic, I guess, right, right and then there. COVID yeah. hit. So look, yeah. at, so a lot of people sold their investments when COVID hit, uh, you know, what's gonna happen? Then they missed out on, uh, you know, one of the greatest increases uh, over, over the next, over a two year period. But a lot of people that might be in it now got in there and are used to those highs going up. Right, well, right? smart people, again, you, you hear this all the time, smart people buy low, sell high. So if you look at the last six months in the stock market and you're gonna sell your investments, you're selling low. The exact opposite you should be doing. The smart people are buying right now because the stock market will go up. Okay. Because again, they don't need the money right now. It's, the, it's that long-term investment. Right. How long has the stock market been around for? 1861 in Canada. So 161 years of history showing the stock market goes up. Yeah. Now the thing you want to do is you also want to diversify. So you don't want to buy uh, you know, all uh, energy uh, stocks, for instance. You want to diversify, yeah. buy energy, buy real estate, buy technology, buy utilities. So uh, generally, all sectors aren't down at the same time, so they, they go up back and forth. Yeah. Now, if you want to really uh, uh, take an easy path to diversification, buy mutual funds or exchange traded funds, because that's an automatic diversification. Okay. Great stuff, Dave. Uh, email your financial questions to Dave at uh, financefriday at firstontario.com or through Twitter at uh, finance underscore Friday if your question or topic is selected to be covered on air. Um, you'll receive a gift card from a local business in your community, and Dave will come over and clean your house. That's in there too. Absolutely. That's really nice. Only if That's you nice. take me to Kitchener to Oktoberfest <laughs> next time. Oh, you wanted to be there too. Yeah, yeah. I know you did. I missed out. I yeah, missed right. Out. You've tapped a few kegs in your day, haven't you there, Dave? All right, more money live on your Friday after this.